Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going through all of the London Toy Fair 2020 reveals so far. So, let's get started. All right guys, so I have the my laptop pulled up here with every single reveal so far from London Toy Fair. Now if you guys don't know what this is, every year Funko goes there as a way for um, stores and companies to order figures, and they like to announce a lot of the new ones for that, you know, for the new year, and it's usually like the first half of the year is these figures. So we're gonna be going through what they've revealed. There should be more figures being announced the day this video comes out, which is, the, you know, tomorrow for me. So this is the first day worth of figures. We're just gonna go through them here. As much as possible. There are so many different ones. I'm probably just going to be naming them and then maybe saying a little bit about each one. Plus, I can't go into detail about every single figure, but we are going to be doing our best here to talk about all of them. So let's get started with the first ones here, which is Pop Football. Um, so they have European Football League here. So they've got Chelsea, they have Liverpool, they've got Paris, and then they also have Manchester as the four different ones that they have here. Um, they've got some pretty cool, um, you know, figures in here, and I like that they're differentiating them as well. Some of them have the ball um, in their hands to to the side, most likely a goalie, and then the other ones have their uh, foot on top of the ball, which is really great there. So I like that they did that. They also have some pretty neat um, sculpts when it comes to this one, especially the one in Paris. I don't know their names, um, but I like the way they did his hair, how it kind of fades up from the brown to pink color. That's probably what his hair looks like, but I think it's really neat that they did that. Um, they also gave them like the eyelids in different spots, and they really gave him eyebrows that probably look just like the actual people do, which I think is a nice addition to this, especially with the hair for the Chelsea goalie. It kind of has like that little curl. I'm sure that's what his hair looks like most of the time. Um, so yeah, really excited about these ones. I'm sure Noah will like them, or uh, you know, I'm, my dad even might like them more than I do. I don't watch soccer too much, or football. I don't watch football too much, but um, I know a lot of people are really gonna like these ones. Um, then we've got the Harry Potter ones here. So this one, there's a lot of exclusives here. We've got a Funko Shop one, we've got a Barnes & Noble exclusive. We have two 10-inch ones. The 10-inch ones are exciting, because you know, guys, I'm gonna pick them up for sure. We have the um, Dumbledore with um, Fox, and then we also, have the pretty much just the what's that one the pop in a box exclusive Voldemort turned into a 10 inch then we also have some pocket pops and we even have so there's eight different figures coming out we've kind of known these were coming for a while with like leaks and stuff like that if you've been kind of keeping up on Instagram but um, a lot of these ones look really great and I think there's some neat ones here especially with the uh, Ron with slug bucket that one's kind of funny um I wish they did this though. I wish they somehow did Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak like over top of him and he's got his hands like this instead of just holding it or like kind of putting it in front of him. I think they could have done it cooler, um, but we'll have to find out once the final product comes out because these are just like concepts. So maybe they'll change the final, you know, version of the pop once it comes closer to the actual release day. Next up, we have the Black Widow movie. So this is a new movie coming out. They have two of them, which are gonna be a Walmart exclusive. I think it's literally just, you know, a different pose for those characters. Um, instead of it being, uh, you know, like a totally different like sculpt or something like that. It looks like their heads might be the same, just the bodies are different. Oh no, for the Black Widow one, she's got a whole new uh, head sculpt as well, so that's neat. Um, but yeah, this is the set here. Again, I don't know much about this. I'm probably going to see this movie when it comes out. Um, I just don't know what it is yet, but um, I know that these are going to be pretty cool figures. I especially like the, oh, what's his name? Um, he was in um, Stranger Things. David Harper, I think his name is, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's in this as well as one of these superheroes, so that's pretty cool to see that one in the set. Um, after that, it is the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars um, for that movie, so there's a lot of them coming out for that movie this year, um, especially like the Han Solo and Carbonite, and we've got the Luke on Tauntaun, and we even have the Luke with Yoda on his back. Now, that one's one of my favorites. I used to have this little, I believe it was a Hasbro figure or Mattel. Um, there were these uh, what were they called? Uh, they were called Force Figures, or they were called Star Wars Mighty Force, something like that. They had big feet, and they had like this kind of like rubbery body, um, but I had one of them, and it was Luke with Yoda on his back, and that was one of my favorite figures, so I'm really excited that Funko's finally making this into a pop. I'm also really excited about the Han Solo and Carbonite, and I don't know why they're doing that Leia and Han 2-pack down there. I know it has a significance. I think it was in, well, of course it was in The Empire Strikes Back. I'm just trying to think of the exact scene that this was in, I don't know. Um, and also this one doesn't say concept, you know, like uh, they're, they're not concept arts. So these ones should be coming soon as well because the Yoda in his hut is already out. It's been released. So these ones should be coming very soon. So get excited about that. Um, Next up, we have the X-Men reveal. So there's um, four more pops coming out, two new characters. Um, so these ones are pretty neat. There's one of them is Rogue. And then the other one is, I don't know his name. 
it's Gambit. So there's Gambit and then there's um, Rogue. So those two are pretty cool. They also have their exclusives. The Entertainment Earth one glows in the dark and then the Hot Topic one. She's almost like, I'd say jumping or flying, one or the other. Um, and I also like that they did change the hair on the Hot Topic exclusive one because it's very similar. They could have kept it the same, but they switched it up. So I like that. Funko, you get some extra points for that one. I do like that a lot. Um, after that one, we've got the, this would be the DC reveal. So they've got a 10 inch Joker coming, um, which is really cool. That's him with the playing card there. I do like that. Then we also have a Hot Topic exclusive Harley Quinn with dress on, I would say. Um, and then we have a Deathstroke jumping. I think he is, I think he's kind of in the air jumping if I'm not mistaken. Then we have these two here from Batman and Robin. One of them's Mr. Freeze and the other one's Poison Ivy. They do look really weird. Um, I'm hoping these ones kind of switch up a bit, but I think this is what it looked like in the, I believe these were comics or they were a television show. I'm not exactly sure for this one, but I do like the way the Mr. Freeze looks. I just don't like the way the, um, the Poison Ivy's eyes are kind of weird. I don't know, but that's probably what she looked like in the actual thing. So, I mean, it makes sense. And then the last one we've got, we've got the Batman Returns. Oh no, there's another one after that. We've got the Batman Returns, um, Penguin, and then Catwoman. And then we have the Batman Forever, Riddler, and Two-Face. I really like the Riddler and Two-Face. They look like the kind of classic Riddler and Two-Face. Um, I especially like how they did the Two-Face all the way down the middle. It, it is what he looks like. And I think it has some like really great detail to it. So yeah, that one will be fun to get. I want to see what that one looks like when it's finally complete because I'm sure it'll look great. Um, but that's all the ones for the DC stuff. Then we have some weird ones here. We've got Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They had one come out a while ago, um, and it was exclusive to New York Comic Con. Now they finally have three more coming out, um, and these are some really odd ones because they don't really look like pops. Um, and this is pretty much what they looked like, even though it says concept subject to license approval. Um, this is pretty much what the other character looked like. So I'm sure these are gonna look very similar to this, but yeah, I'm really excited about these ones. Um, we have the American Psycho ones next. Now this photo that I'm showing you here is actually wrong. The guy on the left is supposed to be the Hot Topic exclusive. It was fixed later. Um, I don't know if I have a photo of that, but the Hot Topic exclusive sticker is supposed to go on top of the one with the knife, not the, not the hatchet with the chase. I am excited about the one with the hatchet though, because he's got this clear jacket on and I really want to see what Funko did with that. I remember they did um, a vinyl idols of that a long, long time ago and it looked really great. So I'm hoping that it looks similar to that. Um, because it did look really nice. Next up, this one's one of my favorites actually so far, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. These three here look really great. Um, these ones here are again, like probably just about done because the movie is supposed to be coming out soon. Um, so they've got SpongeBob and he's got like, almost like badges on, like he's in like, um, what do you call that? Um, Boy Scouts or something like that. Same with Patrick and Squidward here. They all have like patches on and an ascot and they've got like a, Patrick's got his jellyfishing net and Squidward's got his clarinet and then Sponge Bob has a paddle. It's either a rowing paddle or one of those pizza ones. It looks like a pizza flipper. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited about these. You guys know I have a lot of the SpongeBob ones up here, so it'd be really cool to get these ones eventually. And yeah, these are gonna look really great in the collection. Um, next up, we have Onward. Now, these ones, I actually now pre-ordered one of these at GameStop, so these are coming out very soon. Um, these ones look great, though. I do like these a lot. I never really saw them. All I saw was, like, the back of a box, and uh, I wasn't too sure about them, but now seeing the actual characters, they look really great. So there's the, the Hot Topic exclusive ones with the Chase, where the Chase is the Glitter Horn, and then there's the Amazon exclusive. Now, I don't know their names because the movie's not out yet, but these do look really great. So I'm excited about this. I'm really excited to see the movie as well. I like to see every Pixar movie. Um, I think I've seen pretty much every Pixar movie up to date. I think so. Don't quote me on that, but I think I have. Um, but yeah, that one looks really great. After that one, we have The Great Mouse Detective. Now, when I showed these ones to my dad, he said he really liked them, but I wasn't sure what The Great Mouse Detective was. I believe it's an older Disney movie. I've probably seen it. Or what's the one where they're riding on a pit, on a pelican? I've seen that one. Is that the same movie? I don't think so. Um, but anyways, guys, here they are here. There's the three of them coming out. I think they're really great. These are going to be cool ones. I might have to watch the movie, and then if I watch it, maybe I'll want to pick them up after. But yeah, they do look pretty cute, and uh, I'm excited about these ones. So anyways, there's that. After that, we have the Masters of the Universe. So we've got the 10 Super Supersize Skeletor. Then we have a lot of other ones. We have a Metallic Hot Topic exclusive coming out. And then we also have some more He-Man. And we've got a lot of different ones. We've got the Pop Ride there, which looks really great. All of these have some nice detail and random colors. I like the bright and vibrant colors. And uh, these ones look like they're getting close to finishing here. So neat. I'm excited about them. But there those ones are guys right there. The Skeletor is probably going to be the one that I pick up um, and maybe the He-Man Pop Ride. Well, we'll find out once I see them in person which ones I like the most. Um, but so far there's a couple that I want to get out of that line. 
Now, here's something that I can get behind. Wallace and Gromit and they have Shaun the Sheep coming. These three are really cool. My favorite movie from them is Wallace and Gromit and the, Were and the Curse of the Were-Rabbit. I love that movie. But these ones here are pretty cool. I like how they did Wallace with the um, giant teeth there. I think that's very iconic. And then we also have Gromit with his weird kind of like clay ears. Those look really great. And Shaun the Sheep is in his little sweater there. I hope they make another version of him without the sweater on because I like the iconic kind of like fluffy look to him. I mean, this one does look really great and I'm super excited about it, but it would be cool to have another version of him as well. Now, they're probably going to make more um, depending on how these ones go over or if these might not even be it. These are just the ones that they're showing off. There might be an exclusive coming. I don't know, but I am really excited about these and I'm going to be getting them for sure. Here's another one that I really like. It's the dinosaurs. Now, they have all of them coming here. I believe there's five of them so far. Now, they didn't make the grandma. Now, I was really confused by that one, but I do really like these ones a lot. There's so many different ones coming out and um, there's five. I love the baby one. The baby is, of course, the most most iconic but all of them just look really great um, and I, I just love them I'm super excited about those this one will be one that I am hunting for for sure so stay tuned for that um, I know Kenny's excited about this. I was talking to Kenny. If you guys don't know Kenny, he's my friend, and we always like collecting pops and talking about pops together. So here we have Star Trek Discovery. They haven't made um, Star Trek pops for probably two years now, so it's cool that they're coming out with these ones here. I hope they make more of them if they, um, you know, go over well. Um, so it'd be cool to see more of these figures. Um, but yeah, the, for sure, a lot of Star Trek fans are going to be excited about those, so I know Kenny's going to like them a lot. Um, after that, we have Fantasy Island. Now, I did not think they were going to be making these at all, um, but I do think it's really cool that they did make them. They have this show on sometimes. If you guys are from Ontario, CHCH has them on um, after school sometimes at around like 3 o'clock, and this one was one of the shows that they had on for a while. So I watched some of it, um, and I do think it is a pretty funny show, pretty different show for sure. Um, so yeah, maybe you have to pick these ones up. I know my dad's a big fan of the show, so we'll have to find out. I mean, it's, it's on, he watches it, it's one of those ones. Um, but yeah, they do look pretty cool. Here we have Funkoverse. Now there is a couple new Funkoverse coming out. There's new Jurassic Park ones and Jurassic World, I think if I'm not mistaken. No, there are two Jurassic Park ones. Um, so that's coming soon. And then we also have a new Golden Girls one. It's another expansion pack. So I think we finally have the four of them. And now we have Retsuko as well. And that one's just a single pack. And I didn't know they were gonna do that, but she comes with the chainsaw as well as like her weapon of choice. So that's pretty cool um, that they're making those. I don't know if I'm gonna pick them up, but I do like the Retsuko one. So maybe I'll get that one depending on uh, what it looks like when I see it in stores. Uh, but those look like they are coming soon um, because it does not say concept, uh, you know, subject to license or approval. So you never know. Could be coming soon. Um, here's another one. We've got James Brown. Now that we're getting into the rocks figures here. So there's James Brown. I'm just going to kind of name them off quicker because there's not much to talk about each one. We do have Weezer here. Weezer with that cool guitar. I do like that one a lot. I think it's funny that they put him in like the suit and the tie there. Like everybody else has kind of like got their outfits on and like these crazy outfits. And then Weezer's wearing a suit and tie. Um, so I think that's kind of funny, but I do like his guitar as well. They did add a lot to that. I hope the stickers stay on there because when it comes to details like that sometimes it switches up once they're actually done with the figures um so fingers crossed it stays like that you never know um here we have salt and peppa these two are coming soon these ones look really great i like that they gave them dynamic poses there you know one has got her arms over like this and the other one's kind of forward like that instead of you know just standing there or holding a microphone it looks a lot better so there's those ones we have another one from ghost coming this is papa N Nile? I think it's Papa Nile is what they're calling in here. I'm not exactly sure um, because I don't listen to Ghost at all. Um, but this is going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. I know Kenny's a big fan of, um, you know, the Rocks figure, so he'll have to pick that one up for sure. After that, we have Lil Wayne. Um, that one I'm excited about. I might have to get this one. This is an older version of Lil Wayne that I didn't expect them to make. I thought they would have made a newer version of him, but this still is pretty cool. He's got the chain on his pants there, and he's got a bunch of tattoos. Like, I mean, he does have a bunch of tattoos, but they do look really great is what I'm trying to say here. The shoes look cool. It's kind of like a skater version of Lil Wayne, um, so that's cool. After that, we've got Willie Nelson. He, I just noticed that he has a Willie Nelson bandana on, which makes sense, but it's cool that they put that on there. Um, he's got his guitar. My grandpa's excited about this one. He's also excited about the Shania Twain one. Bit of a funny one, but those two, um, the Shania Twain one is coming out as well, so that's neat. Then we have Motorhead. So they already had the one Lemmy Kilmster. Now they're making another guy on the right there who I'm not exactly sure who it is. Um, 
but it does look good. I do like that a lot. Um, they're, they're different. They do have some great detail to them. Again, I don't listen to Motorhead, but I do think they look nice. Then we have Slayer. There's three pops coming up for Slayer, which makes sense because there are people, three people in the band. Um, they have some great detail. They look pretty cool. Um, I like how they gave them the V guitars as well and not just like some normal guitars. They're really taking a lot of detail into the Rocks figures, and I think that's great. Like, they'll pick out like the guitars they use, the shirts they'd wear, um, their exact hairstyle. And with the ZZ Top ones coming up, this is funny. So, Kenny had pointed out to me that on the Funko app, they say their beards are flocked. So that's pretty cool. Fingers crossed they are flocked beards because that's kind of like the main part of ZZ Top where that's what a lot of people talk about is their beards. So it's really funny that Funko is flocking them, especially because of how big they are as well. So huge hats, big beards, sunglasses. I'm excited about them. Here's the Shania Twain one like I was talking about earlier. This one looks pretty cool. It's a lot of cheetah print, I will say that. And I have seen different versions of Shania Twain, so I don't know why they went with this one. Um, but it does look cool. Maybe they'll make another version in the future. Here's one that my brother's really excited about, Noah, if you're watching or editing right now. Um, Easy Eve, this is pretty cool. Um, I know he's excited about this one. It's, he's got the Compton hat on, that looks really great. I'm glad they added that, it's a little bit extra to him so you know it is Easy E. Um, but yeah, that looks really great. Then for the last one here, we have Slipknot. Now Slipknot is the last one that was announced. Um, I know Noah was excited about this one as well. They did just have a new album come out, or it was a new album or a new song. I don't remember, it was one or the other. But anyways, guys, this one's coming soon. There's only three of them. I'm surprised they didn't make more of them. But that's it so far, guys, for today's Toy Fair reveals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. They will probably be, have more reveals coming tomorrow. Um, and if I, you know, talked about any poorly, sorry about that. There's so many of them that came out. But um, I wanted to show them all off to you guys, and I thought this was the best way to do it. So anyways, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching.